everyone so welcome back to another video on our channel and finally we have a great update about the cognizant hiring update so i have already posted that update few days ago if you are following our channel that cognizant have announced and started their on campus mass hiring for 2025 batch so if you are following our channel uh, from past few days you already know we are going through every hiring updates everything we mentioned in that video that we are going to post every update about that particular hiring also for every round uh, we are going to post uh, detailed preparation strategy detailed exam pattern last video we have discussed about the throughout whole procedure like what are the different rounds are going to be there which round will be happening after which like that but uh, for every round separate breakdown every round preparation strategy question pattern how many questions of which type of questions will be there we are going to uh, discuss we have mentioned earlier so if you are new to our channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram and whatsapp from the description box link so that you do not miss out on all this type of multiple updates we are going to cover throughout uh, the next few months about this particular contingent hiring and other hirings as well so first we are going to discuss about the communication rounds uh, this detailed exam pattern so the detailed exam pattern of the communication round has been changed earlier in the cognition the communication round was there but but uh, for you uh, earlier it was not a uh, elimination round but uh, recently they have made this as an elimination round so there is going to be elimination if you are not performing well in this round you are going to get eliminated uh, even before going for the next rounds and this is going to be one of the first rounds so we have to be very cautious and very careful before going for this round so what is the exam pattern of this round you can expect we are going to discuss in this video so let's start first of all this is a new pattern so uh, make sure to watch this video very carefully and if your friends or your juniors are going to give this exam uh, for cognizant make sure to share it with them so first round of this communication exam is going to be reading yes you are listening correctly because uh, this round is may named as communication round the main motto is going to be about communication they are going to check your communication skills uh, mainly your listening skills your speaking skills your fluency your pronunciation all these things so first round will be uh, reading first section of this particular round will be reading so there will be some sentences given in the uh, screen you have to read the sentences you have to record your voice while reading that sentence loud and clear and then you have to submit that particular recording so there will be two types of sentence first type will be uh, might be single sentences will be there and in the other type there might be two to three sentences will be there there might be a short paragraph okay so whatever it is you have to do only reading so i am counting this as a single single section because you have to just read it from the screen and record it and then submit it so this particular section you should have clear voice good pronunciation and you should not fumble between the sections you should not mispronounce uh, any particular word or anything okay that you have to take care in your mind next round after this will be listen and repeat so same type of thing but this time the sentences will not be written in the uh, screen the screen also will uh, consist of one audio so you can play the audio and listen to it so be very careful listen to it very carefully because most of the times they do not allow uh, the students to listen to it twice because they only give you one chance to listen to so we should go to waste listen very carefully so that this uh, audio whatever they are saying uh, you have to understand carefully and then again the same thing you have to do you have to record and speak very clearly and loudly with good pronunciation and then submit so what is the difference the difference is that this particular round is going to test your listening skills as well how attentively you can listen and also one more thing how accurately you can understand multiple accents so in this listening part the sentences are not going to be in simple english language like we speak okay so there will be multiple accents from might be from usa accent from canada accent from us or uk accent okay from multiple uh, places all around the world there might be different different accents will be there there will be different different voices will be there but you have to understand their accents you have to understand what they are saying and for repeating you can uh, just uh, normally say and uh, the loudly clearly and pronounce correctly then that is going to be fine next move on to the next particular section next section is going to be uh, fill in the blanks this is going to be the largest section because there will be huge number of questions number of questions will be very much but the section will not take much time because there will be only fill in the blanks one or one single words you have to fill in every section or every question so there will be fill in the blanks grammatical questions will be there mostly grammatical by grammatical section i means that there will be a verb or article preposition these type of things are going to get mostly focused 
बिकॉज लेर माइट बी सपोज सम सेंटेंस इज गिवन एंड देर इज अ ब्लैंक पार्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट द वर्ब इज रिटेन सो विच फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब इज गोइंग टू बी देयर विच पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म लाइक माइट बी पास माइट बी पास पार्टिसिपेल माइट बी प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूअस ओके माइट बी एस और एस इज देयर और नॉट इस टाइप ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑप्शन माइट बी देयर यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट विच ऑप्शन इज गोइंग टू बी करेक्ट एंड ऑल्सो फॉर सम केसेज देर माइट बी मल्टीपल आर्टिकल्स यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट आर्टिकल और करेक्ट प्रिपोजिशन लाइक दैट सो ग्रामाटिकल पार्ट विल बी बेसिकली दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन विल बी चेकिंग योर ग्रामाटिकल नॉलेज ऑफ इंग्लिश ओके सो दैट्स इट एंड लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन नेक्स्ट सेक्शन इज ऑल्सो अ बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इफ यू हैव अटेंशन इफ यू कैन इफ यू आर अटेंटिव देन यू कैन क्लियर दिस राउंड वेरी क्लियरली बट इफ यू लैक अटेंशन इफ यू लिसन टू समथिंग एंड इफ यू जूम आउट इन बिटवीन दैट देन दिस राउंड इज गोइंग टू बी टफ फॉर यू सो स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिस लिसनिंग ओके this particular round is going to be listening comprehension yes you might you might have done reading comprehension in your school but this is different this is going to be listening comprehension uh, it is going to be similar to reading comprehension but the comprehension or the paragraph is not going to be written anywhere in the uh, laptop or screen or anywhere it is going to be given to you as a audio file so the audio you have to listen once and you have to remember the points okay there will be a short paragraph spoken to you Uh, via the audio so you have to listen to the audio understand and note the important points so that uh, the next few questions that will be based on that particular audio file or that will be based on that particular paragraph or comprehension you have to answer them correctly okay so suppose a audio file is there the audio file contains suppose 7 to 8 sentence a paragraph and there will be 3 to 4 questions based on that paragraph after that so you have to listen to it once and then answer all the questions okay you cannot uh, get come back and deep play again and again okay if they are following the last year's part uh, so that's it and after that the final round that all the ultimate round comes for this particular uh, assessment that is the communication assessment the final round is going to be to speak on a given topic this particular section is going to check your thinking skills your speaking skills both okay because they will give you a topic after that particular topic they will give you some time to think about it you will have suppose uh, 90 seconds time or 2 minutes time to think about it so then uh, in that particular time you have to think whatever you want to speak okay and after that they are going to again give you suppose 1 minutes or 2 uh, minutes time to speak about it okay so uh, after that in that time while they are going to give you the time for thinking you have to think about the topic which lines you are going to uh, speak what topics you are going to discuss suppose the topic might be what is your favorite book or uh, what is the last movie you have watched like that so suppose uh, i might give also suggest also some points like why this book is your favorite when did you read it okay how you can relate to it like that okay so you have to think up these topics and you have to make a details in your mind that how you are going to speak which line after what and uh, then you have to start recording your voice and speak throughout the time given time to you for recording and then you have to submit so that's the detailed exam pattern of the communication round of cognition if you have any other queries regarding this round or any other round make sure to comment down and don't forget to click on the subscribe button because we are going to uh, cover every update about this hiring throughout